This is an amazing car. This is really cool. Let's get this thing on the lift. Let's talk about this car. This is really awesome. So I've mentioned to you guys many times in previous videos about EuroAsian Bob and his keen ability to find cars I've never even worked on or seen before. You guys are looking for the cool cars. This is one of his. It's actually here for some service. And I definitely knew it's time to do a video. This is awesome. This is a 1999 Infiniti Q45 T. Of, this is a V8 rear wheel drive Asian luxury car. It is so nice. We're going to check it over, talk about some of the things I found wrong with it already, and experience the beauty of this car. This is awesome. Let's start with opening the hood. Now some of the earlier models of this car, the Q45, had a true 4.5 V8. But in 99 they went to the 4.1 V8. And some people jokingly call these the Q41s. Well, they're really a Q45. And this is the touring model, a T. This has the 4.1 V8 and it has 266 horsepower, which is not astronomical, but it's plenty of power to move this thing down the road. And it is so smooth. The engine is, while it's idling, it's like it's not even running. As you can see, you look around the engine bay, it's not going to be super hard to work on. You take these covers off and get the coils and things. Pretty much, if you take this plastic cover out of the way, you can get right down to the fan. You can see it down there in the belt. Not too hard to work on. They didn't cram this thing in here. It's not like a Cadillac STS which is one of the cars that this car's trying to compete with. I wouldn't be afraid to do much of anything to this engine. It's a very clean car. As you look around the engine, you can see it's not gunky, it's not oily. I don't know that it's even leaking anything. We're going to check that out here in a minute as soon as we get it on the lift. So I mentioned this car was kind of competing like a Cadillac STS, also the Lexus LS400. But in the Cadillac, it would have had the North Star 4.6 liter V8, and we all know they had the propensity to blow head gaskets and have all kinds of other issues, oil leaks, and their front wheel drive. The engine sits sideways, and it is very hard to do much of anything on the Cadillac STS. This is rear wheel drive. The engine sits front to back, not sideways. Much easier for service, and probably cheaper because it's less labor. The Lexus LS400 would be similar, it would be like this. The engine is fairly easy to work on, but the starters are horrible on those. Also on the Cadillacs. So, like I said, this is a pretty rare car. I've been working on cars for over 20 years. I've never even driven or worked on, and I don't know that I can recall I've ever even seen one of these cars. How EuroAsian Bob is able to find this stuff, I don't know. Now, just because I've never seen this car doesn't mean I can't work on it. This is cakewalk stuff to me. Very easy to work on this car. Let's go ahead and get this thing set on the lift. We'll look underneath and we'll take a look at the interior and around the exterior. And keep in mind this has 116,000 miles on it. It's very low for being a 1999. Let's go ahead and get started and see what we find here. Look under the radiator core support for any leaks. The radiator looks nice and dry. Transmission cooler lines are nice and dry. Everything looks good there. We'll move back to the oil pan. There's a tiny bit of seepage going on there coming from the power steering pump I can see. It just needs a new reservoir hose, that's all it needs. Cheap easy fix. That will take care of the seepage that we see here. And some of this oiliness we're seeing here is also coming from that leak. Let me check the wheels here. 
Brakes look good, nothing loose. Brakes look good, nothing loose. You do see some oil here coming from the strut. That is one of the things that is wrong with this car. All four struts are bad. And this is the Touring model with the electronic suspension. I have not been able to find anywhere the replacements for these. I've looked on some forums, did some research. There's guys saying they found a set in Japan for three grand for the set. But otherwise, you're out of luck. You're not finding them. If you guys just in the comments, maybe you guys might have some ideas where we can find these or replacements or conversions or what kind of ideas you might have. So right now we're striking out on that. Transmission's nice and dry. This has a Mercedes style looking flex disc there. It looks good. No issues there. Our drive shaft support and the bearing look good. The U-joint behind it is good. No play there. And a U-joint back here. In good shape. The exhaust is not all rusted out. It's nice and quiet and in good shape as well. No leaks from the differential. The rear axle shafts are not broken as far as the boots. And they're in good shape also. Let's check for anything loose. Nothing there. Brakes look good. Sway bar, good shape. Nothing loose there. Good brakes. And again, you can see on the on the struts, it's all oily. They're 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 bad. That's why it's here. So we're gonna get that solved and figured out. Maybe, like I said, you guys in the comments can give me some ideas of where we can find those. Exhaust looks good there. Here's the charcoal canister. Nice that it's not cracked. Anything issues there? All the hoses are in good shape. There's a purge solenoid. Tires are decent on it. All in all, very nice. Go ahead and lower it down. So now we got it off the lift. Let's take a look at the interior. It's really nice. Look at these seats, guys. If you sit down on these seats, it's not like modern Cadillacs and modern Mercedes where it's concrete layered in leather for sportiness. This is serious comfort, serious luxury. It's there's just like spongy, soft foam. It is so nice to sit on. I was pleasantly surprised. I expected the Cadillac Mercedes concrete with leather, but it wasn't that way. It was totally soft and supple. Very, very nice has nice wood trim, accents all over the car. It's very, very well equipped. It's a nice analog clock. It gives it a touch of class. It has the Bose stereo. It sounds excellent. Very, very good sounding stereo. It has automatic climate control. The dash isn't all cracked and beat up. The interior on this car is pretty much flawless. It is very, very nice. You can see we have the sunshade up in the back. It has a sunshade for the rear window. And again, the same story in the back seats. Very soft, comfortable seats. And no rips, no tears, no wear through the material. The headliner's in good shape. It's not ripped or torn. These cars are really, really cool. I've never experienced one of these, and once I drove it and sat in the seats, I knew what they were all about. It was just real luxury. Not trying to be a sports car, being a luxury car. Okay, let's take a look around the exterior and close it out. One of the things the 99 model got as opposed to 98, 76 and on back is HID lights. Nice bright white lights. It has a very interesting looking front. The front end on this car is very interesting looking. It's very unique. It doesn't really look like anything else. 
It has a pearl style white paint, which is also in very good shape. It's got really nice five spoke Infiniti 17 inch wheels, which look really good on this car. It matches the, the whole theme of the car. No dents, no dings, no rust holes. There is a couple little chips here, but that's about all there is to really talk about on the paint. The paint is very, very nice. On this side, there is one small ding towards the front. I'll show you as we get up there. That's really all there is on this side. Otherwise, nice clean paint. There's a ding right there. You can kind of see it. Very small. Also on this side, the little extension from the hand lever here is missing that goes over the keyhole. That could probably be found on eBay. We might look for that. But otherwise, the car for its age and miles is in very, very good shape. Thanks for following along, guys. When this was brought to me by Eurasian Bob, I just knew you guys wanted to see this in a video. I've never seen one myself. I definitely thought you guys would like to see one. We'll get these issues taken care of on it, and he can get it on the lot. There's a link below to Eurasian Bob in our description if you want to check his inventory. Really cool cars. Any of the tools you use in the shop, check the Amazon Affiliates link in the description below as well. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, I really recommend you do that now. we got many more cool videos to come. The shop is full. Thanks for watching.